Good morning everyone, hello again on my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to install Jellos on R36S. Yes, not Arcos, Jellos. Jellos is already available to install and I'm gonna show you how to do by the easiest way, step by step. And all the links are on descriptions guys. That site will be first where we're gonna go to download our Jello system. Just scroll down. This is the newest one from 12th. This means from yesterday. Scroll down and go to uh, installation package downloads. This means you go into Unbernic and Game Console R33S uh, download package, which is that one. Click it and just wait until the system will download that file for you. This is about one gigabytes, uh, like you see, and depends of your speed internet, it will be a few seconds or maybe a few minutes. Yeah, but this is about your speed. And we're coming back after when the system downloads everything. As you see, guys, that file been downloaded already. Another step, guys, I've got the brand new um, card. 32 gigabytes is way enough because I'm using two card system one is card for the system uh, another one is for games but what we're gonna do we're gonna format that card format a volume we're scrolling down that our card as you see is unallocated is brand new I will create a volume that will be R36S for example Jellos file system XFAT I'm always using that one is working fine without any problems format the system creating now that card okay as we see now guys is already XFAT, Jellos has been formatted and we are ready to flash that system. We are going to program name Balena here, link on description as always, just open that one, flash from file, the file will be that file which one we downloaded and depends where you download it, it will be that file. I've got on downloads is the latest one which one I downloaded then I have to choose that file you don't need to um, unzip or do anything with that file the only thing what you need to do just open the place where you downloaded click twice or here and open as you see we've got that as image select target our target is our micro SD card it's straight away showing us that right one Location I, this means is my card, 30 nearly 2 gigabytes, mass storage, and we are selecting that one. Just tick here, select one, and that's it. We're gonna go to flash that system onto your micro SD card. Yes, and now the process is going. It's decompressing automatically, then after it will flash in that system onto your card. same it depends of the speed of your cart that will be about one or two minutes i suggest guys don't use some crap cards because this can corrupt uh, the original cards which one you get from from aliexpress uh, or whatever you buy in this console they are very cheap quality because we've got that device very very cheap then we need to realize they need to save some more money and they saving by giving you just cheap cards that's why straight away the first step what you need to do just buy better card when you install in any system or you update in any system just remember to use new card i suggest just some lexar kingston or samsung i used once and it doesn't work really well yeah but kingston and lexar is working for me okay without any single problems or sun disks as we see now guys 
it's been flashed already now it's validating that's not long time as you see I'm showing you all process to show you how long it is and yes that's it we are nearly done job done as you see this system has been flashed on your card this is what we need to do with your card but one very important information for you guys that you need to know uh, jellos have a little bit different files about about the games and i'm gonna show you what are you need to do to work your game cards yeah just a second i will replace my system card for the games card originally that's how it looks like your folders on your card but jellos need something different you need to create folder names roms i just came back as you see and everything what you've got in original card yeah all these folders all these folders which one you've got is supposed to be copy to folder name roms this means the basic and the main folder on your card have to be roms then drag all your files all your folders to this roms folder okay just remember that if you're gonna use just original card which one you've got is not gonna work until you make another folder name roms and you have to drag all of this system and everything to this particular folder that's how jealous has been created since december is working like that is the same in pauki the x55 or rgb30 now we're gonna jump to our device this is the games card as i told you i've got 32 gigabytes of lexar which is quite okay no problem at all that's the ops that's the slot for your system always just not that side uh, yes that's the game card which one i created before and i that's what i show you on that video uh just a few seconds ago just remember the mine folder is supposed to be named roms and every single uh, folders from your emulators have to be inside that roms folder okay and we turn it on power is on now we're gonna wait as you see straight away you've got some informations on the screen always dust and it just creating all folders and everything on your cart we have to wait a while as we see is from 12th of February 2024 and we wait I recording everything to show you how long it is and you need a little bit patience guys first time when you put in the system is always longer as the system need to create everything just remember guys patience the system it didn't stuck or something happened it just need the time the color of led is set up different is not the blue one is red all the time on jellos black screen is not meaning is something wrong is still working on just don't touch it anything yeah As you see, system turn up. We've got jellos now on that device. Some people like it more than Arcos. Some people prefer jellos. And as you see, my games card has been recognized automatically without any problems, without any updates. Everything is here. But one thing what we need to do, you have to go by press start to the system. Go to system settings. That's very important. Go to system settings. Just scroll down and you've got hardware and device option is R36S, R36F5S option. You need to change this. Why? Is about 
your buttons configuration. Yeah, the system need to know is that device. If not, there will be messed up your buttons configuration during the gameplay. This is when we switch this one by press A, as you see, it's just changed now. By press A, click B to go back and system will tell you. System will restart after user settings will be reset. Do you want to continue? Yes, we want to continue and the system just reboot everything with the button configuration for that particular device. Just we need to wait again as restarting all your system again. You need to do this just once and after system will remem remember all the setups. As you see guys, now was much, much, much quicker than was before. And what we're gonna do now, I want to show you guys if it's working that system properly or no. You can put the music on also, but I don't mind about that. Okay, first system we're gonna go for Amiga and we will see if it's working. Press A, then start new game. A again, and we're gonna wait. Okay, seems to be okay. To get out is 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 the same like on uh, Arcos. If you wanna go back to main menu, you have to press select start PSP. Any game, something quick. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Here is different setup uh, to go to menu, PPS, SPP, is select. When you press select, you're on that menu. How we've got the settings, let me see. Times one, frame skip need to be done. Okay, frame skip. We are put low as we've got R36S, upscale off. Filtering just off. We don't want this as we've got just slow end device. Go back, continue. Okay, we're gonna go for full screen display and layout. All right, stretch. Go back, continue. Okay, that's better for me. I like full screen on PPS SPP. Seems to work fine. The only thing I see need to be redone is the buttons. When I put the left, it's going to the options, like select. It need to be reconfigurated control mapping. I'm not gonna do this now, it's just out of the box. I wanna show you how it is working. Okay, all fine. We go into exit. Okay, maybe one more system, Sega Mega Drive. We'll see if it's working fine. Some Adams family. Remember, inside the jellos is like A is like accept, B is back. Yeah, when you wanna confirm something, you click A. When you're gonna go back, just B. Oi, oi, oi. Okay.
all fine. Yeah, we've got options here on retroage or working fine. I want to go out. One thing I want to check if I will swap my system with Arcos here, if it's going to work straight away or we need to flash that card again. Okay, let me just turn off that device. Shut down. Yes. It's off. Yeah, it's working. It's working, guys. This means if you have a two cards, spare cards, and you are don't like it, you are don't like it, guys, this Arcos, you don't need to download again the system onto second car. It's just recognized right away. But I didn't see my games because I've got that... Mm -hmm, because I've got that folder, ROMs, and everything is inside the ROMs. Probably that's why. But let me see. Yes, yes, that's the problem now, guys. Because we've got mine folder ROMs and everything is inside that folder. Arcos didn't see this. This means if you want to use that system, you have to use that what was before. But if you want Jealous, you have to create ROMs folder and put everything onto ROMs. It cannot be swapped that game's card. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, guys. Thank you very much and have a great day. And hopefully you will have a good week. See you in the next video. Bye.